Hey, Planty people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm pissed because I have all of a sudden developed this magnet to thrips like out of nowhere and I'm just so flabbergasted at it and I'm just so irate. I have kind of like behind the scenes been trying to take care of this problem and lo and behold they just keep coming back and I'm so irate I'm so angry I'm so aggravated it's just like all of a sudden my plants are just thrip magnets and I'm just sick and tired of it and I'm gonna try and take care of it as best as I can today right now I'm so over it I'm so fed up I was over here gazing upon my glorious that my friend Brooke sent me and I was like oh wow that's a random little yellow splotchiness right there and if you look on the back I don't know if you you guys probably can't see but there's thrips all around it and I'm just so irritated there's thrips up in the corner I have this brand new leaf and thrips are probably gonna take over it and I'm just so mad and just literally irate. <laughs> I have this plant and I have a few other plants that I'm just going to like disassemble somewhat and try my best to take care of them because I can't handle it. <laughs> and there's a fungus gnat like I don't need any more problems today fungus gnat okay I've got other issues to deal with. But yeah I have I'm going to be cleaning this guy. I'm going to be cleaning my elbow that I got from a trade and I think there's a few other plants that I'm gonna have to um, clean and just I'm going to completely like rinse them down and spray the leaves and the foliage the uh, stems just completely down with Captain Jacks I'm so fed up with it I'm going to get a handle on this today also I have <laughs> memberships on my channel like subscribe comment do all the things down below I hope this isn't your first video beating me because I am much normal. Normally I am in a better mood <laughs> today. I'm just kind of going insane. So yeah, I'm going to take care of these guys and some more plants. I hope you're excited for me. Okay. <laughs> so I went ahead and went through all of my plants that are in my bedroom. And unfortunately, it's a little bit worse than I expected because not only do I have a thrip outbreak, but I also have a spider mite outbreak. And there's like a few plants that I have been dealing with pests on for quite a while, but I haven't actually like taken them out of their soil and cleaned out their soil. So with that being said, today I am going to be giving them a dunk in the water, like I'm gonna do my spider mite plants first and then my thrip plants next. Oh, I'm so upset. Like today's a bad day and this is just like the cherry. But I'm just gonna go ahead and um, get them out of their soil that they're in, clean off the soil because maybe there's some pests like residing within the soil because no matter how much I clean their foliage, it just keeps coming back. Um, I have two of my Hoya Bellas, my Philodendron Mame, my Campo, that, those are my spider mite plants and then I have a few other plants that are not in here yet and those are my thrip plants but I will bring them in a second. But yeah, I'm literally just going to uh, throw out the soil that they're in and dunk them in this water. Like I'm just so angry and fed up with dealing with this issue. I feel like it shouldn't be an issue for as long as it has been. Maybe I'll bring this over here. It shouldn't be this much of an issue because I just keep treating these plants over and over and over and it just keeps on coming back. I'm just so outraged by it. Into the water you go, my friend. Into the water you go. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my plants off, off camera real quick. This may or may not be like the stupidest thing I've ever done, but in my head, it makes sense to just like 
try and soak these spider mite ridden leaves and possibly roots. I've got my mame in here. I cut two leaves off of her, one that was fully yellow and then one that was well on its way. And then I've got my Hoya Bellas in here as long as, and as well as my Campo is in here somewhere. There he is. But yeah, I'm just gonna let them soak for a bit. And then I'm gonna pull them out and spray them with some Captain Jacks. And here are the plants that have thrips on them. This is going to like, look at this damage. It looks so bad. I think you can see right there, this thrip. You can see it moving. Ooh! Oh, I'm so sick and tired of it. But my Philodendron Dark Lord, my Glorious, this Albo, and this little baby Mikeins, they all have thrips on them. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to them. Get them out of their medium that they're in and soak them. Okay guys, I don't know if this is the culprit or not, but this looks like eggs. I have no idea if this is just like the fertilizer or what, but that looks pretty suspicious to me. But I don't know if maybe this guy was the actual culprit in the end, but this doesn't look very good whatsoever. So he's getting his own sink by himself. I'm thinking about ooh, just like throwing him in the trash, but I'm going to just go ahead and treat him like the rest of them and clean off all the soil, clean off all of his roots and give him a really good soak because that is suspicious as hell. Okay, so now that I've got all of my plants like cleaned up and taken care of and soaked, I'm gonna go ahead and spray all the foliage down with this Captain Jack's dead bug spray. And I'm gonna make for sure and be very careful that I don't spray any of the roots and I just spray the foliage. Whoop, I'm trying not to step on anything. Oh gosh, this is just such freaking pain. Okay, so everything has officially been sprayed down. I'm gonna let them sit for a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and pop them back up. Okay guys, so now it is getting a little bit late and for some reason my bedroom light doesn't work anymore and there's not as much light coming through my windows as there typically is. So I'm just going off of my grow lights at the moment. So bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and start potting up some of my plants now. I thought about waiting until tomorrow, but I just didn't want the roots to just like completely dry out. And I'm just figuring that my plants might just do better if I just go ahead and take care of this now. So, without that, with that being said, I did go ahead and clean out all the pots that I was using so that way that we can just like make for sure that we're just getting every bit of like thrips and spider mites out of the pots and doing everything that we can possible to have some happy plants. Because I'm just ready for this pest journey to be over with. This is not something that I would wish upon like my worst enemy. This just really, really sucks. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start potting up some of my plants. My bellas need to be in terracotta or ceramic. They just need to be in something that's a little bit heavier because otherwise they're gonna fall over because their foliage is just way too light or way too heavy, excuse me. But yeah. And <laughs> he doesn't look that sightly, but I think he'll be okay. Although, I think he's coming up just a hair. Try and pack him down just a little bit more. You guys can't see what I'm talking about, but just visualize. Close your eyes and visualize. Right. I think we're going to be okay like this even though she's like literally really wild and all over the place she was kind of already wild and all over the place and i just love her for that <sighs> hopefully hopefully this time 
we will have gotten rid of the spider mites. I literally just included both of my Bellas in my favorite plants and like plants that I'm loving recently. And if I would have realized that she had spider mites, I would not have included, included her into this month's video for that. So yeah, she would not have made the list because that is just, this is just awful. Like I said, I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. The next Bella is a little bit lighter. I do find it pretty amusing that these Hoya Bellas have such tiny root systems, but they can have such a large like um, stem. They can have so many leaves on them with such a teeny tiny little root system. So it was kind of nice to unpot them both and see exactly what we were working with in the root department. So that was kind of nice to check on them like that. All right, she's all done. They're gonna be a little wild looking for a little bit until they start growing out a little bit more. But yeah, that is going to be the second dude. Um, next, I'm gonna go ahead and pot up this, I believe it's a Philodendron Dark Lord. Uh, correct me in the comments if I am incorrect. But this is what the undersides look like. I was air layering this guy, so there was some roots up here. But I don't know if I'm going to even deal with air layering him anymore. Just because I've been so irritated with him. Especially if this is what, like, really was the culprit behind the thrips and behind the infestations because I, I can't rem I can't single out I can't, I can't seem to figure out exactly which plant it was that I had last before I started getting pests like really badly getting pests like I've had mealies before and honestly I would take mealies any and every single day over thrips and spider mites just because like I don't know for some reason I feel like millies are easier to take care of and not take care of as in like you know help them grow and thrive but like you know literally like take care of them like take them out to the to the backyard and you know just like get rid of them I feel like they're much easier to handle in that aspect and just, it's like thrips and spider mites. They just, they're so reoccurring. At least if like, um, uh, mealies are on the roots, you can just like chop off all the roots and start fresh. But I don't know. I also didn't mention this at the beginning of the video, but I just threw away my Monstera Sultipicana, which I've had for quite a while. And also my Monstera Peru, they were both devastatingly covered in thrips. And I just wish that I would have realized and paid attention a lot sooner that that's what was going on with them. I wish I would have just like seen the damage and looked closer at the leaves because then I would have been able to take care of them a lot sooner instead of just like throwing them completely away. I'm really upset that that is how that had to happen. Um, they're like literally sitting in my trash right now. Poor little baby Mikens was minding his own business, being outside and not having a care in the world. And then I had to bring him inside to do a TikTok or was it a reel? It was one of the two. I did either a TikTok or a reel and I wanted to use my little baby Mikens and of course, he was over here in this area where it seems that most of the thrips were. And he got a little bit of an infestation as well. Poor little dude. He was looking so cute and full too, the way that I had him potted up in his plant previously. Now he just looks really scraggly, <laughs> but he'll be okay. All right, next up is going to be my Campo. Put him in this little pot got this guy from Botanica's for like crazy crazy cheap too 
Got it as a bundle with my uh, Begonia Julau, which is doing fair. <laughs> I wouldn't say that she is having the best time of her life, but she's making it. My, uh, my dark, my Darth Vidariana is actually doing quite good. She's got four leaves on her now, which is the most I've ever had on a Darth before. I'm very happy and proud, very proud plant mama at that side. So that's something good to notice today out of all this bad that's happened. Oh. Next up, I have this little bebe, Philodendron Glorious. Hopefully he will make a good recovery and hopefully I didn't damage this new little baby leaf too much. I already see some like, almost like scratch marks on it, which is unfortunate, but honestly, it just is what it is at this point. You're gonna win some and you're gonna lose some. So he's all potted up. I like putting my more favorite plants in the clear pots so that I can watch their root growth. Next is going to be my elbow. And she's got a really good root right here sticking out. Let's see. I think that this will be a good pot for her. She might have already been in this pot. It might have been a different plant. I don't recall. I do want to make sure that I get that root a little submerged in the soil. Okay, this isn't the most attractive potting that I've ever done, but I did want to make for sure that, that aerial root got covered, and she is for the most part, covered. <laughs> I might put end up putting some moss on her later on. And last, but certainly not least, is Mama Philodendron Mame. Mame. Oh my goodness. I have had this plant for quite a while now. Probably one of my very first, like, more expensive slash uncommon slash rare plants. So it would mean a lot to me if she could make a full recovery. It would be pretty devastating if she didn't, but she has a ton of roots, so hopefully she will bounce back pretty well, like fingers crossed, because I really don't want to lose her. Um, I did have this guy in Lekka for quite a while, and then I recently just took her out because uh, the Lekka was getting just like really, really nasty up at the top and I hadn't uh, washed it out in a really, really long time. And so she was way, way, way overdue for that. And so, yeah, I, I took her out of Lekka and I just kind of stuck her in water for the time being until I decided whether I wanted to put her in soil or if I wanted to try like um just putting her in complete water and in during that transition she uh completely lost two leaves so I don't know if she liked that very much but hopefully she'll like the soil life a little bit better than she liked um the water life I haven't had her in soil since I first got her yeah hopefully she'll like this better but yeah thank you guys so much for watching me have a kind of a mental breakdown over my plants and the trauma and stress that they are putting me through I'm going to give them all a really good watering here in just a second but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my new members that are watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I'm <sighs> just hoping that my plants make a full recovery and bounce back pretty soon and pretty quickly. And hopefully we don't see any new pests anytime soon because I'm over it at this point. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. I can't